Hey guys, what is up? Dan here from BrainWiz. Today we're going to be looking at a really cool new supplement called Mind Lab Pro. Uh, this is a uh, new nootropic by uh, Advanced Nutraceuticals, a company based out of the United Kingdom. Uh, we're going to be looking at a few different things in this review. First, we're going to go over the ingredients that um, are in Mind Lab Pro. Um, and then we're going to be going over usage guidelines. We're going to be going over my specific experience. So we're going to wrap it up with some common um, and frequently asked questions that, that I've been hearing on the internet and from other people. All right, let's get into it. Okay. First things first, let's talk about ingredients. What makes MindLab Pro uh, such a special nootropic? Well, let's talk about the, the one thing that it doesn't have, which is stimulants. You're gonna look at the ingredients list and a lot of people might be surprised to see that there's no caffeine in it. Uh, with a lot of nootropics on the market, you're going to see caffeine loaded into these little pills. Why? Because the makers want to, in effect, get you high. They want you to get that rush of caffeine that comes with, um, you know, taking these pills. You're not going to get that um, with Mind Lab Pro. You're not going to get um, that rush and those caffeine jitters, and then that uh, inevitable crash that comes with taking. Uh, caffeine, and that is what I really, really love and respect about uh, Mind Lab Pro. So let's get into what other um, ingredients Mind Lab Pro has that that I really um, enjoy. So first, you'll see that Mind Lab Pro has vitamin B6. So vitamin B6 is an incredibly important vitamin when it comes to brain health. Um, it is used often. Um, in the energy metabolism process and helps in the production of um, a lot of neurotransmitters. So these neurotransmitters are, are the foundation of our thoughts, our memories, and our feelings. So low levels of uh, vitamin B6 can actually make you feel mentally fatigued. They can make you feel uh, depressed, give you less energy, and, and even lead to the shrinkage of brain tissue. Uh, in some research studies, they've, they've found that. So in addition to vitamin B6, there's vitamin B12. Um, it's a, B12 is a helpful nootropic in that it plays a very big role in the development of neurons in your brain as well as certain cognitive processes related to concentration, reasoning, memory, um, and learning. You will also find cytocholine. Uh, cytocholine has a wide range of neurological benefits. Uh, specifically in Mind Lab Pro, you'll find a variation of cytocholine called Cognizant. Um, so unlike other forms of cytocholine, um, Cognizant has actually been tested clinically on humans. And, and one of the main reasons cytocholine is a great nootropic is because it raises level, uh, your levels of acetylcholine and dopamine. So you're going to feel more motivated. You're going to feel higher energy levels um, when taking this. Also, you will find Bacopa monere. Am I saying that correctly? You can let me know in the comments below. <laughs> um, so Bacopa um, is known for being one of the oldest and most well-known uh, nootropic supplements around. It's been used for decades um, because it is an all-around brain booster. Um, so research has actually shown that, uh, that Bacopa can improve the memory of older people, uh, improve spatial learning, um, and also reduce anxiety, depression, stress, which allows for more uh, mental clarity. Next, you'll find um, lion's mane mushroom. So lion's mane has been around also for um, tons and tons of years and, and been used um, in, in similar ways as Bacopa. Um, and it's been used in uh, ancient Chinese medicine uh, due to the fact that it's been proven to increase the cognitive function without any adverse effects. So usually with supplements or, or uh, specific supplement ingredients, you'll find that there is um, some type of side effect, whether it's a crash like with uh, uh, caffeine or, or something else. Um, however, with lion's mane, there really hasn't been any adverse uh, you know, effects found. Next we have... Phosphate diacelerin. 
Huh, that's a hard one to say. Okay, so this uh, ingredient, and I'll just call it this ingredient from now on, um, has the ability to actually improve the efficiency, the way that your mind makes connections. So um, that is pretty impressive for uh, a, a supplement that is over the counter, an ingredient that's just over the counter. Um, in fact, one study actually found that after uh, participants took 400 milligrams of, of this ingredient, that is in Mind Lab Pro, because I can't say it correctly, they were actually able to increase the speed of calculations by 20% and improve their accuracy. Um, another study actually found that 800 milligrams of this ingredient was able to reduce the buildup of cortisol. Uh, as you know, cortisol is, is what is uh, known for giving us stress and things like that. Um, so that, especially stress, can put a, uh, a big damper on your, your cognitive functions. The next ingredient in Mind Lab Pro is pterostilbin. Am I saying that correctly? I really, I really have no idea. Um, pterostilbin has a high antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, and anti-carcinogenic properties. So, as many of you may know, and many of you may not know, neuroinflammation, so the inflammation in your brain, is one of the biggest contributors to brain fog, as well as certain neurodegenerative degenerative diseases, such as dementia and Alzheimer's. So, pterostilbin is a great nootropic in that it helps to bring back some of that neuroinflammation um, you know, in your brain, it makes sure that it, it cuts down on, on brain fog, which gives you more mental clarity throughout the day. The next ingredient that we're going to be looking at that's in Mind Lab Pro is called N acetyl L tyrosine. So, what makes N acetyl L tyrosine a powerful nootropic? Um, it all comes down to dopamine. And adrenaline, uh, adrenaline metabolism. So a study uh, has shown uh, that we link to in the blog post um, of Mind Lab Pro, the review. Uh, a study has shown that it has the ability to actually elevate mood. Um, they found in in certain military personnel that uh, were exposed to stressors like cold and altitude, among a lot of other things. The next ingredient that we're going to be looking at is called L-theanine. Um, specifically in the form of sun theanine in Mind Lab Pro. Um, L theanine is one of the more popular nootropics that you see today, and this is because it has a wide variety of, of different uh, cognitive benefits. Um, so, in a 2008 study, um, they found that uh, researchers found that when combined with caffeine, it had the ability to improve alertness. Uh, accuracy and, and the memory of the participants of the study. Now, although there is no caffeine in Mind Lab Pro, um, it L-theanine will still have the ability to improve a lot of these different functions. Um, it is okay, especially in my experience, to um, to stack this with a caffeine supplement, or um, you know, at the very least, maybe take um, uh, you know, add a cup of coffee or, or, or a cup of tea. Uh, to your daily routine with Mind Lab Pro. The next supplement that we will be looking at is called Rodia Rosea. Um, so much like L-theanine, Rodia Rosea works as an all-around um, type of nootropic supplement. Um, so it helps to reduce things such as fatigue, depression, um, stress, and this is all while also improving your cognitive state. Um, so in, in a study, uh, actually in a double-blind placebo-controlled study, participants who took Rodio, Rodiola Rosea, I'm probably saying that um, wrong, outperformed those taking a placebo um, in short-term memory, calculation tasks, concentration, as well as thinking um, efficiently. Um, and this is all while having lower levels of mental fatigue. Okay, last but certainly not least is vinpocetin. So, what makes vinpocetin, uh, if I'm saying that correctly, I'm sure I screwed up half the names of these ingredients, um, but I digress. What makes vinpocetin such a powerful nootropic is that it is a vasodilator, um, as well as an anti, as having anti-inflammatory properties. So, a vasodilator 
um, basically dilates your blood vessels, making it easier for specific um, things to get into your uh, bloodstream. In, in this case, it makes it easier for the supplements to get into your body. Um, also, uh, it's anti-inflammatory uh, properties uh, worse work to uh, reduce brain fog, as mentioned um, earlier. Okay, now let's talk about usage guidelines um, for this nootropic slash dietary supplement. Very, very simple. With this, it uh, with Mind Lab Pro, uh, it's not complicated. It's actually very user friend or very beginner friendly. Um, all you have to do is in the morning or early afternoon, preferably with food. Uh, actually, I, I definitely recommend taking um, this nootropic as well as any nootropic or any supplement, any type of vitamin. Um, take it with food. Uh, you don't know how your uh, stomach is going to react when it has vitamins in it. I know in the from past experience and taking multivitamins as well as nootropics. Um, if I don't eat and I take this first, um, I will possibly get a bad stomach ache and that's just from my stomach not having anything else in it um, and then reacting bad uh, you know, with, with the ingredients. So um, with my lab, probably gonna take two capsules in the morning or, uh, or early afternoon um, and they say if, if you build up a tolerance, um, you know, you can go as, as far up to, um, four capsules, um, you know, is what they say. I don't recommend going up that high uh, for experienced users of Mind Lab Pro. That might be something that you want to do. Um, but again, um, two, two, four, start with two, especially if it's your first time. I actually started with one. I like to not try and dial it up all the way to 10, especially with my first time. It's something, a, a supplement that I've never used before. Um, I like to start slow and, and see how my body reacts. Um, so I, I started with one. They recommend to start with two. Um, and uh, of course, don't go past four. So um, in a 24 hour period, don't go um, over four um, unless you know otherwise directed by a healthcare uh, provider, doctor, um, someone you know who has a, a doctorate. Uh, I would hope. Uh, it's also uh, recommended that you do not use this supplement if you are pregnant, if you are nursing, or under the age of eighteen. This is a dietary supplement. Um, it is a nootropic. Be careful. You know, talk to your doctor before taking. Uh, Mind Lab Pro. Talk to your doctor before taking any uh, type of over-the-counter or any drug at all, because you don't know, you know, how your body's going to react to it. Um, you know, in the long run as well as in the short run. Okay, now that we have talked about ingredients, the usage guidelines uh, of Mind Lab Pro, let's get into my experience uh, with Mind Lab Pro. So. First thing is first, and I mentioned this earlier in the review, um, I was very, very um, surprised when I looked at the bottle and saw that it had no caffeine in it. Um, I am someone who has a love-hate relationship with caffeine. I, I have coffee um, on a almost daily basis, uh, up to three or four cups sometimes. Of course, I like to cycle off, especially when I'm trying uh, nootropics or trying new things that help with my cognitive function. I don't like to have it interfere with, um, have the caffeine interfere with the, the nootropic in any way, especially, you know, uh, to try and make it as, as um, unbiased uh, as possible, the review. So, Let's get into uh, what the first week was like with me being on Mind Lab Pro. So I wake up, um, and as I usually do, I feel groggy and, and I have a, a bit of uh, you know brain fog. It usually takes me about um, an hour or two, really about an hour, hour and a half to, to wake up and, um, and kind of get my brain working again. Um, so... I decided not to take um, 
any kind of caffeine during this review process. Um, I usually have during the day anywhere between two to four cups uh, to really get me going. Of course, when I'm doing a review, I try to stay away from caffeine so that it's more of an uh, unbiased review so that we're not adding really caffeine into the mixture with all of these um, nootropic supplements or ingredients. So um, I wake up and uh, skip the coffee, have breakfast, decide to have only one pill. Um, and that is just personal preference. Uh, I like to just see um, how I'm affected by the supplement um, with a low dose before just jumping in. Um, so an hour rolls by, don't really feel much. This could have been, you know, because it was uh, morning and I was still a little groggy. I hadn't had my coffee. Um, and only had one, uh, one or half of the recommended dose. Um, afternoon comes by, I, I don't really feel uh, much, too much. Uh, again, only had half. Um, I, I felt a slight increase in motivation, which is which was odd, just because I usually usually it's the caffeine kicking in around that time. However, I hadn't had any caffeine. I was actually expecting to feel groggy the entire day. Um, so that could have been because of Mind Lab Pro. Again, only had half a dose. Um, so I went to bed and, and I wasn't um, upset or, or anything like that, that I, I didn't get amazing benefits the first day because I really, I knew that when day two rolled around the next morning, I would try a full dose and, and really be able to see what the effects were. Okay, so day two, um, same thing as day one, woke up, feeling a little a bit of the brain uh, fog, um, feeling a little groggy. Um, but instead of having uh, half a dose after uh, breakfast, I, I took the full dose. Um, so this is around 7, 8 a.m. Um, and that is really when, actually about, I want to say about an hour after, 45 minutes after, um, I took the recommended dose, um, I started to feel... Uh, uh, an increase in not only motivation, but um, really productivity in general is really, I guess, the best way for me to phrase it. So uh, with my daily coffee and caffeine intake, um, I felt um, it was more of an anxiety. It was more of a rush to get through things. Um, so I tap away on my keyboard and I, I would almost get a little jittery. Caffeine gives you a really good boost, so I had been drinking two to four cups a day, so I was just used to having that much caffeine uh, rushing through my bloodstream. So um, with Mind Lab Pro, it's a bit different. You're not going to get that jittery type of rushed anxiety feeling um, in terms of motivation and productivity that you would get with something uh, like coffee or uh, like a tea with a lot of caffeine in it. Um, with Mind Lab Pro, you, you get um, what I like to call um, a calm type of motivation. Um, so it, it allows you to think clearer, uh, connect your thoughts a lot easier. Um, I found that I was able to respond to things a lot uh, quicker, especially when it came to like emails or if I was on uh, conference calls. Um, I was able to collect my thoughts within a very uh, within a shorter amount of time and um, respond in a clear and an eloquent way that was more efficient than I I was used to. Um, oftentimes I. I am plagued by um, by brain fog, so it's it's tough for me to sometimes connect my thoughts. Um, however, when taking Mind Lab Pro, I, I found that it 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 allowed me to really connect my thoughts a much much easier. Another thing I want to talk about is the sensation that you get with Mind Lab Pro. Um, it's one that I felt before slightly. Um, with other nootropics and, and um, one that I've actually, uh, m many of you might be uh, familiar with. Um, 
So if you've ever taken uh, a, a, a drug to treat ADHD, uh, such as Adderall or, or any of the other ones that are out there, there is a, a feeling like a, a sensation that you get that um, you get very engrossed in, in whatever it is that you're doing at that uh, given moment. Um, whether it is cleaning a bathroom, studying for a midterm, or uh, you know putting together a, a report uh, for wherever you work. Um, Mind Lab Pro gives you a, at least in my experience, uh, for me, it gave me a, a similar type of feeling. You get very um, into whatever it is that you're doing at the moment. It, it gives you almost uh, uh, like a hyper focus on, on whatever it is uh, that you're uh, currently working on, which for me was great. Um, I'm usually the type of person that likes to you know, work for 15, 20 minutes, take a five minute break to kind of regroup um, and then get back into whatever it is that I'm doing. Now when taking uh, this supplement, I found that I could work for um, longer or more extended periods of time without having to take that break, which is really key, um, especially when it comes to having to get things done in a short uh, amount of time. Okay, so lastly, um, and I've said this a few times before in this uh, review, there are no stimulants in MindLab Pro. Um, now for me, that was great because usually around 3-ish, 3 3.30, 4 o'clock in the afternoon, um, if, I've take, if, if I've had you know, three, four, five cups of coffee or tea or whatever it is that has caffeine in it, I am going to start to crash around that time and I can usually get irritated, I can get very, very tired, my thoughts are very hard to um, you know, bring together and, and think efficiently. So um, when I was off of caffeine during this review, I very well expected to um, feel some type of uh, withdrawal effect from caffeine, however, I didn't. Um, and almost the opposite, um, you know, I, I felt that I could keep going after three, four, uh, 5 p.m. Um, and my thought is, is that it is due um, in part to the fact that I wasn't taking caffeine, so there was no um, you know, rise in my energy level, peak, and then a crash at that time. It was kind of a consistent energy. Um, but also because of taking my Lab Pro, I think it gave me more um, of a level um, energy uh, throughout the day, a level um, mental uh, clarity throughout the day rather than a rise, a really big rise, a peak, and then a fall again, uh, which is what you get with caffeine. Um, so I was very, very, very happy to, um, to, to feel that way, especially after my day had ended. Technically, um, you know, I was still able to get work done into, um, into the evening, which is, which is big. Okay, now we're gonna talk about some frequently asked questions that I've seen around the internet and some questions that I've heard people ask me um, in relation to MindLab Pro. So let's get into it. Where can you buy MindLab Pro? So the only place to buy MindLab Pro is actually on their website. Um, you might be able to find it on other, um, you know, find it for cheap on other sites, um, but I wouldn't really take a chance on buying it anywhere other than um, their website. And this is only because a lot of people are going to try and knock off this product or create different variations of this product, possibly even use the same branding um, as MindLab Pro. And this is because uh, MindLab Pro has a great brand. Not only that is they have great ingredients, they've created a great supplement. Uh, so people might try to uh, capitalize on that, other companies. Um, 
So you're unlikely to find it at places like GNC, Amazon, or, or Vitamin Shop. And this is purely because MindLab Pro just wants to control um, everything from the moment you order it all the way to the moment you first try it. They want to make that process and that, um, that line as, as straight as possible. Is MindLab Pro safe? Well, during my review and when I was taking it, I felt safe the entire time. I know other people who have taken it um, and they have been safe in taking it. There, there were no adverse uh, reactions. I had no adverse reactions. Really, a lot of the ingredients on here, um, vitamin B6, vitamin B12, um, as well as others, you're gonna find in like a multivitamin. Um, it's really when you start getting into some of the more brain specific um, uh, ingredients where it becomes a, a, a true nootropic. Um, but again, I, I felt safe the entire time. There were no uh, adverse side effects. There were no crashing. I didn't have heart palpitations, anything like that. Again, um, and I've said this before in, in the video, um, please talk to your doctor, you know, before taking any, any type of, uh, dietary supplement or whether it's a supplement, a prescribed drug, whatever it is, talk to your doctor, um, talk to a healthcare provider. Um, I'm not a doctor. I don't try to play a doctor on the internet. So, so, uh, you know, definitely do your research and, and, and talk to a professional before, you know, taking anything. Is it worth purchasing? Is MindLab Pro worth your money? Um, so it comes in, a bottle comes in at uh, $65. However, um, it actually gets cheaper depending on uh, if, you know, which tier you go with, if you order multiple at a time, things like that. Um, however, at the highest um, amount that you can pay per bottle, if you only get one bottle, um, you will be able to use it for a month. So let's say uh, there are 30 days in a month, $65 a bottle comes out to what around $2, right? So uh, for me, that makes sense because $2, let's say is what I actually I would spend more um, on coffee. Um, I'd probably spend upwards of four, five, six dollars if I bought three or four coffees at you know a Starbucks or another um, another coffee company um, whereas I could take something like a mind lab pro um, and it would only be two dollars a day so in the end if you really think about long term mind lab pro is a much better investment than you know grabbing two three cups of coffee um, even if you make it at home it could very well equal out if I don't like it, will they refund me? Um, surprisingly, yes, they will. They will refund your purchase if you don't see any results with MindLab Pro. Um, this is very big in the world of nootropics and in the world of supplements in general. A lot of companies don't have a uh, return policy. It's kind of uh, you know you you buy it and you're stuck with it. If you don't like it, well, too bad. With MindLab Pro, that isn't the case. Um, they actually offer a uh, a very good uh, refund policy. I, I uh, you know implore you to click the link below and check it out. Um, as of right now, I believe it's up to 30 days. I could be wrong, um, but yeah, you take it. Um, you don't if you don't like it or you don't feel the effects that you know you wanted to feel out of uh, MindLab Pro contact them, let them know, and then you can send it back and they will um, give you a refund. Where does MindLab Pro ship to? So um, you can actually have MindLab Pro ship to anywhere in the world. Um, they are, uh, the company that makes MindLab Pro is based out of the United Kingdom. Um, so you can have it really shipped to anywhere. So United States, Australia, anywhere in, in Europe. Um, this is surprising. Um, I have sometimes seen um, a lot of a lot of uh, nootropic companies and supplement companies um, stick to a certain set of countries that they only deliver to. However, MindLab Pro is can deliver to anywhere. So if you're listening to this, you know, on the other side of the world, uh, if you're not in America, if you're not in the United Kingdom, yes, they will uh, deliver it to you.
Does MindLab Pro offer any free samples or trials? Um, no, they do not. Um, so they don't offer trials because, um, and this is what I, I believe I read on their uh, website, uh, they don't offer trials because you really do need to take it for an extended period of time to feel the full effects. You can't just take it for a day um, and, and expect you know the best results out of it. Um, I was lucky after day two, after day three, after day four is really when I started to feel um, those those um, those results that I talked about in my experience. Um, however. You know, if you decide to purchase it, um, you know, if you're on the fence, you decide to per purchase it again. There's refund policy. It's a pretty great one from what I've seen in terms of nootropics. So, uh, you know, don't be afraid to, to give it a try because you you have that refund policy to to fall back on. Overall, I am very pleased with MindLab Pro. Uh, we have covered a wide range of nootropics on uh, BrainWiz, and, and I have to say, uh, in terms of dollar for dollar, um, MindLab Pro gives you the best value. You're gonna, at least in my case, I got a superb boost in mental state, in my mental clarity, in the efficiency of my thoughts. Um, and it was a great experience and I'll, I'll definitely be working this into my daily routine whenever I can. Uh, it's something that I'm going to be cycling off of and, and that's something you should definitely do. Um, don't take it every single day. Um, I like to take it for um, five days and then take two days off or take it for you know um, two weeks and then take a week off or, or something like that just because you don't want to build up a tolerance um, and then have to rely on taking four pills every single time just to feel the same effects. Um, so definitely definitely cycle off, which is what I'm going to be doing um, actually right now. And just to um, let people know, this is not a um, wonder pill. This is not a pill um, like if you've ever seen the movie Limitless, it's not going to make you like the superhuman type of person. Um, there are no limitless pills out there. However, my lab pro, especially in my case, did make me feel like I was able to, you know, not only be productive and have more mental clarity, um, but it really made me feel as though I had more hours in the day, right? Because if you work faster, you're going to have more time to get more stuff done, whether it's work or if you want to go play or go to the gym or do whatever it is. Um, which is great. It's kind of like reclaiming a part of your life um, during the day. Um, so to wrap up, you know, if you're looking for a nootropic that isn't loaded with stimulants, that has, um, you know, a clean label, so uh, MindLab Pro actually has no additives, um, and includes ingredients that are, are research-backed, um, to really help you increase your mental state and then mind lab pro really is the supplement that will will give all that to you um, again feel free to check out the link below for um, you know the best price on mind lab pro um, you'll also be able to see the full review on brainwiz.org all right guys talk to you later